Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, we are going to see how to convert a snapshot standby database to physical standby database. A snapshot standby database is always open in a read write mode, and physical standby database can be open in mount stage. We can also open in a read write mode physical standby database, but it will be open in a read only mode. We called it as a active data card. So in this session, we are going to see how we can convert a snapshot standby database to physical standby database. Okay, so here I have this primary database server in a black screen and you can also check the name on the top itself and this is the standby database server. Let me change the name. Okay, so now it's fine. I'm just connecting to a SQL plus utility. Doing the same thing on physical standby database. Let me check the database status. So before that, let me show you what are all the steps that we are going to cover in order to convert a physical standby database to snapshot standby database. The first thing is on a physical standby database, the database should be in mount stage. And next thing is we are going to use this restore point. As I said earlier, while converting a database from snapshot standby database to physical standby database, it is going to use the restore point because the time when we create a snapshot standby database from the physical standby database, it is going to create one restore point and the same restore point we are going to use when reverting back to the physical standby database. Then we are going to use this command to convert it to the physical standby database. We need to shut down the database and start the database in mount stage because the physical standby database get open in a mount stage and at last we are going to use we are going to start the mrp process to apply the archive logs okay so let's go one by one first we are going to check the status on both primary and standby database here the primary database name is prime and currently it is up and running you can check the database role here itself. Let's check the same thing on standby database. This is the name and currently this is a snapshot standby database. We are going to change this role from snapshot standby database to physical standby database. So the first thing is the database should be in mount stage. Let's shut down the database. I have also opened the third screen here. Which is uh, check which is checking the alert log for the snapshot standby database. So just now we have shut down the database. You can see the same thing here. Archive shutdown avoided. Shutting down the archive process. Alter database dismount. Okay. So it's a good practice to check the alert log file when you're you are doing any kind of the operation so if you get any error which is not showing on the prompt you can see the same error on alert log file just to go in a more deep way like then start the database in mount stage once it is done then we are going to check the flashback restore point see here 
instance shutdowns complete now it will start the database in mount stage okay so it's working mm -hmm. let's check the restore point okay so we have guaranteed restore point created here on date 27 november so it's a two days date only okay so while converting the database from snapshot standby database to physical standby database it is going to use the same guaranteed flashback restore point okay so let's convert it to the physical standby database alter database convert to physical standby it's done now we need to shut down the database let us check the alert log and start a database in mount stage startup we, we are going to uh, start a database in now no mount stage first and then we will start a database in mount stage So these are all the operation we are doing it on the physical standby database or standby database server. Alter database mount standby database. Once it is done, we need to start the MIP process. At last we are going to check the status of database whether the database gets converted or not let's take it see here the database name is std and currently it is a physical standby database so this is how we can convert the database from snapshot standby database to physical standby database. What we are going to do, we are also going to check whether these archives are getting shipped and whether the primary database is in sync with the standby database server. Let's check it. I just kept this uh, queries handy with me because uh, every time I don't need to write the same query again and again. So. Yeah, the max sequence it is showing as 101 and I'm checking about the archives which are applied so here it's all it is showing the same thing let's check from the another query so 111 is there and standby see here these archives are getting applied here 109111 everything okay so this is how we can convert the database from snapshot standby database to physical st standby database if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much for watching this video bye bye for the day